på all det skrivs. Så många är det här, as you can see. This thing also we have to remove, and here also, this microphone we have to remove, here is one screw, here is another screw, and then almost all screws had been replaced, removed, uh, now the knobs we have to bring them off of the machine, and these bend knobs also So all knobs removed as you can see and now the chassis will come off probably it should come off we'll see for further any screw if it is there no so it will be a little bit pry is required because something LED and this small steady mono jack is there and here is one thing which we must have to remove this uh, tuning fine tuning knob and now hope this will come off as almost everything is off so as you can see this chassis has come off but the care is required because power is on so I removed it the negative side yeah so by this way uh, just this has been off of the machine and now we are going to test this thing but for that for sure we have to remove this the kit also the mechanical kit from here we have to remove this mechanical kit just uh, this is going off camera which is something not good yeah like this so this kit had been detached I'm just putting it aside and uh, this one should be there as uh, we are going to back probe it and so for that purpose uh, this connector should be intacted as uh, without that we cannot back probe it and this is needed for the back probing actually and so here I'm just putting it on so now it's back propped the machine and uh, power is there and of course we have to set it to radio So now is the case, this is set to radio. If we see this 12 number pin, where it is leading, that will be our point to trace it, to trace down the circuit. So as you can see, 12 is over here, 12 is over here and that is going to here. Here is a capacitor, as I can see downside, this one is the capacitor, from the capacitor, as you can see, this is going like this and reaching to some point like over here to radio. And the other point, from here, if I will trace, this should be the power point, as this is, this is the jumper and here it is going, coming and again reaching to this point here the printed circuit board is burnt just I have to show you very close up on the camera as you can see 
This printed circuit board is burnt over here. Here is the burnt circuit board you can see. So what we will do is we will have to test the voltage over here and confirm the burning. So just put our meter over here. Just I have to capture the meter along with the board to show you where the burning mark is and where the voltage is we have to test. So here is this ground and here is this mark burning burning mark which I can see. So you can see something 5 volt on the meter and this is just I am checking on the burning mark and here this trace is going to this one for sure this one but here is no voltage. So what we have to do is we have to put a cable a piece of cable just we run a cable over here to this point and from from here just as you can see what where the power is just over here this one is our power so from here to here we will put a piece of wire and the, by that way we will be able to give the power to this machine. So a very close inspection of this area is showing that two lines had been broken. One is of course this one which I had been shown to you which is going to the switch, this switch, the radio uh, selector and the tape recorder selector switch, tape selector switch. So over here this one which is this uh, jumper the positive wire which is coming from the power supply had been broken over here the print is is burnt over here and the other one which is going to some way like uh, this one this this capacitor and from here it is going to 12 number pin this is also detached from this printed circuit board it had been burnt so these two wires we have to introduce and then later on let us see how the machine is behaving so just one wire we have to connect over here on this uh, jumper I don't know here exactly what is the jumper number downside but over here just I'm connecting it because I just traced it and uh, from here it will go to this jumper which is somewhere over here just I have to show on camera and it's something very difficult to do it like this So here it had been connected and you can see the LED is coming now but there is no still no voice. Uh, so the other one which had been burnt is from this capacitor this one positive positive leg of the capacitor to this one it's actually over here this print is. So here we have to solder this one also to make the circuit perfect and hope this will run the circuit or it will switch on whatever the radio is so some way like this I have to connect and here also as you can listen now you are able to listen on the speaker switch on camera these two wires while I connect it to the circuit alive as you can see after the introduction of these two wires uh, this radio or this stereo not stereo but uh, this mono had been come to life uh, so what we have to do is I have to check the voltage if it is possible on pen number 12 of this IC just giving you some demonstration yeah up to some extent it is possible so that you will have to have idea that now the voltage had been restored so on pin number 12 I am checking 5.2 volt you can get on this IC pin number 12 this is the pin number 12 so this was what was our repair on uh, this radio or uh, cassette player uh, so hope you enjoyed this video as uh, only the two pieces of wire had restored this thing to life once again um, 
if you enjoyed this video uh, please thumb up, thumbs up uh, like subscribe and uh, share with your friends thank you for watching